run cost accounting distributions. So I'm going to go back to Oracle Fusion and then I'm going to run this particular concurrent program which will create distributions in cost accounting for the transactions that we just transferred from inventory to cost accounting. So let's go back. Alright, so I'm going to come out of uh, this particular form and then I'm going to go back to tools and then schedule processes from the navigator. And here I'm going to click on schedule new process. And then I'm going to look for a program. Accounting. See, something like cost accounting distributions. It's going to fetch the program details anyways. You see, that's the name of the program. Create cost accounting distributions. And you hit the OK button. And then it's asking us for the basic parameters, run control. So choose something starting with US because we are in US1 business unit. Okay, then hit the submit button. And 2580668 is the concurrent request ID. I'm going to refresh this. You see that's the program which is presently running. Create cost accounting distributions. So it will take 2-3 minutes to complete. You see it's fairly fast. I believe the number of transactions are low. And I believe it's going to also spawn a child concurrent program. Let's see how it goes. So look, this program is still running and as I said, it spawned a child concurrent program by the name of Refresh Cost Accounting Repost Data. So the cost accounting report data will be updated once this program gets completed. So let's wait for a while. To get it completed. Okay, this program got completed, and the second one, create cost accounting distributions, ended up with a warning. So we'll review both of them. Let's first review the output of a refresh cost accounting report data. So it's going to download the report. Okay, so this is the output file. So you see job status is success. So this MV stands for materialized view. So what it's showing is these are the tables or these are the views in the back end that it has updated. Okay and the view names have been listed over here. So I'm going to close that and I'm going to cancel this and then I'm going to go back to cost accounting distributions and let's see why there was a warning. So I'm going to go to the output file and download that output file and let's open it. And here you can see the details. You see the errors are pertaining to certain transactions for which uh, the periods are not open like uh, transaction period 12 13 is closed so they are older periods okay and you see other errors standard cost for this transaction doesn't exist the outgoing inventory transaction could not be costed because there is no layer cost for this item the incoming inventory transaction could not be costed because an existing layer cost was not found to use as the actual cost of the item so these are the errors and 
the issues that we got which resulted in the warning message for this transaction you don't have to worry about these because these are could be related to older transactions and let's go back to the system and check what happened to our transaction okay the issues could be in relation to other transactions as well so I'm gonna go back and check for the costed transactions So I'm going to go to cost accounting from here and then I will go to the taskbar and then look for review cost accounting distributions. There's the program or that's the form we should be reviewing it and here let's say the cost organization is something starting with US so I'm gonna choose this one okay and then I'm gonna say item is this and see if it shows us the transaction type which was supplementary transfer is it not okay this one hit the okay button and then you once again hit the search button In fact, we could have changed the transaction date to today's date to be precise. So if the errors were indeed pertaining to our transaction, then nothing would be shown. So you see nothing is uh, shown as yet because it was saying the layer wasn't existing. Again, this was something I wanted to show you as a part of the process. Okay, but this is something uh, to deal with the cost accounting so if there were no errors your transactions would have shown over here okay so now it is not showing now i have to dig this and debug it in the background to see what's going on but don't worry about this because this is nothing to do with uh, the module which we are in it requires certain uh, set of steps that may be possibly missing as detailed in the error report okay but anyway what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna hit the done button and then I'm gonna go back to the inventory management and once again I'm gonna pull out our transaction just to make sure if they were any other status update okay the two transactions All right, interface to costing. So nothing has been updated as yet. Most of it is self-explanatory now as you understand the process of sub-inventory transfer now. You see the last one is uh, creating the accounting and then transferring the accounting to GL batches for the cost accounting that we have created. For that, you have to go to cost accounting if you wish to transfer those accounting entries to GL. So I'm just showing you the whole process, even though the cost accounting got us some sort of an error. So all you have to do is click on this create accounting program and here you have to choose the subledger application as cost management 
and then choose the appropriate lecture so in our case it's a US primary lecture you see this one and uh, and it is obviously today's date accounting mode final and leave the rest of uh, the parameters by default and this is important transfer to general lecture is yes so the accounting entries will be transferred to GL and once it is transferred then you post those created journal in general lecture so once you're done with that you hit the submit button and then you hit the OK button and you can review this uh, particular transaction status in the tools and schedule processes form Here you have to refresh this and you see this process is running. So as soon as this process gets completed, the GL entries will be created and posted in GL. And then you have to log in as the financials user and then go to journal accounting in journals and check by the date to review the journals and its corresponding posted status. Now that's something not very important as far as uh, the business process is concerned as a functional supply chain implementer. That is something to deal with the financial side of things. But for the completeness purposes, I have shown you end-to-end -end process. So I leave it to you to go to the GL part and review the created journals. And uh, you see this program is now completed, post journal entries and post uh, sublet journal entries and then create accounting execution report so i leave it to you to review this and review the journals and journal batches created in um, gl and post it there